This is called what I call the water bottle demonstration. And this is, uh, this looks like my water bottle, but it, it's really, it's more than a water bottle. It's, it really represents the uh, Federal Transportation Trust Fund. There's a couple of drops of water in it, but at the end of uh, July, it will be bone dry. Sometimes what we do, Chris, would you bring your water bottle up here, please? All right. Sometimes, and Chris represents his water bottle. This is the Federal Transportation Trust Fund water bottle. And he has in, in this water, this is the general fund transportation. I'm going to ask you, do you mind just filling a little bit of water in there? Just, not, not just a little bit. Just a little. Yep, there we go. Now, the general fund, the Federal General Fund water bottle has just replenished, not very much, as you can see, uh, the Transportation Trust Fund. But eventually, this runs out too. And uh, when that happens, Kathleen, would you come over here, please? Go ahead. Here. Kathleen comes along. She's playing the role of China. And when we look around the world, the general fund, the U.S. Treasury looks all over the world and says, well, we need some more money in the general fund so we can do other things and run the government and also replenish the transportation trust fund. So a month, we try to borrow money from all kinds of people, including China. All right. Now, meanwhile, China's doing bad things, if you haven't noticed, in the South China Sea. And then we say to China, you can't uh, push the uh, Philippines and the, uh, and the uh, Vietnamese around like that. You can't do that. And Chinese say, well, I thought you wanted to borrow money. We don't like the way they've manipulated the currency in the last 10 years. Say, you got to stop doing that. And they say, well, I th thought you wanted to borrow money. And uh, we say stuff like, you know, you, you, you can't continue to do the kind of trade stuff, keep our stuff out, and just think you're going to sell to us forever. And they say, I thought you wanted to borrow money. Uh, we got to be smarter than that. I'm sure last summer's closing of 495 is in everyone's recent memory. I'm sure the incident that just happened on the Amtrak lines is a present concern. There are lots of examples we could point to from the I-35 bridge that collapsed in the middle of the rush hour in Minnesota to other pieces of critical infrastructure in other places around the country that have failed. We have terrific public servants in Del Dot. We have terrific folks who are helping to sustain our infrastructure but they need more resources. We cannot have a modern infrastructure without being willing to pay the bill to carry the freight.